Hey folks, once again something a little bit different this time. This is a genuine um, old-fashioned Russian abacus, which um, it's called a shota in Russian. I'm not sure if I pronounced that quite correctly. The pronunciation is a little bit tricky because there's an S and then right after that there's a sh sound. So it's not, some people just say shota or something like that, but it's shota, it, it, shota because uh, there's, a, yeah, you start with an S and then you go from the S into the sh sound, so kind of tricky. Uh, Lenin is there watching on as, uh, as we operate our shota here. So um, this one is a little bit different for most of the Russian style abacuses that I see because it has this um, this rail down here with only two beads on it. Usually there are four, uh, at least in most of the ones that I've seen it seems like the convention is to have four beads near the bottom uh, or sometimes at the very bottom on the very bottom rail, but that was to, um, to count quarters of kopecks. So in Russia, um, of course, the Russian standard unit of, cur unit of currency is the ruble, and um, the Russian uh, the ruble is broken down into 100 kopecks, or kopeeks, as they're called in Russian. Uh, so basically, a, a kopeck or a kopeek is like a cent. So it used to be that you could actually break down kopeeks to quarters. So there would, uh, on really old, like really, really old-fashioned Russian ab abacuses, there would be four... Is it abacuses or abacai? I'm not sure. Uh, there would be four beads on the bottom rail to count quarters of a kopeck. But these days, kopecks, kopecks are almost worthless. I mean, people throw away, like you see people throwing 10 kopeck coins into the street as trash because they're like, literally a, a 10 kopeck coin is about one third of a US cent, so they're almost worthless. Uh, people do still use them, but they're like pennies. Uh, so anyhow, so the convention here is that uh, this rail is the ones, this is the, this is the tens, this is the hundreds, uh, this is the thousands, the ten thousands, and so on. So, um, and the convention, as you can probably tell, is that all the beads start on the right-hand side. And unlike most other uh, style of abacus, the Russian abacus is usually curved. They usually have the rails kind of curved like that. I'm not sure exactly what the reason for that is. I guess it's so that the um, so that the beads stay to the side and don't slide around too much, like gravity kind of keeps them on the extremities of the, the rail or whatever. So anyhow, um, and this down here at the bottom is, I believe it's to count fractions. So like, since there are only two, that would be a half. So right now this abacus is representing 0 0.5 and then that would be one because it's obviously it's two halves. Um, obviously if you had four beads here, then you know one bead would be a quarter, two beads would be 0.5, three beads would be 0.75. And this I think is just um, single tenths. So like that would be 0 0.1. And you can combine these. So like that's 0 0.7, for example. Uh, so yeah, this was uh, gifted to me by one of my comrades. Uh, thank you very much, Tolik, for uh, for uh, giving me this. It's quite a uh, quite a piece of history, I guess. He just kind of apparently had it sitting around in his attic or something, and just thought, hey, let's bring it in and show it off. It'll be cool. So yeah, um, I'm not. I, I have yet to figure out how math on these things actually works. So adding is pretty straightforward. Let's say you have. Um, and let's say you have five here, and you want to add five to that, you just slide over five more beads. And then since this is 10, anytime you have all the beads pushed over to the left, you can reset this rail by pushing them to the right and then incrementing the rail above that. So for example, let's say I have 50, that's 50 now, and let's say I want to add, I don't know, 72 to that. So we can add two down here. And then as far as the seven in the tens columns, you can do one, two, three, four, five. And then since we've now pushed all the beats over, we reset that and increment that, and then six, seven. So we find that 50 plus 72 equals 122. Or another example, um, let's randomly add, I don't know, 84 plus 67, why not? So 84, so there'll be eight beads here. So that's 84, we want to add 67, 
So we can add the uh, the seven first. Why not? So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll do that, and then that's seven, and then we wanted six here. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that adds up to one hundred and fifty-one. Uh, so adding is pretty straightforward. Subtraction, I guess, is basically the inverse of that. Um, I still haven't figured out how to properly do multiplication and division on these. I'm assuming it's possible. I'm, I'm assuming there is a way to do multiplication and division. I just haven't figured it out. So if anybody wants to actually explain it in detail, feel free to do so. Um, I, I imagine it can get pretty tricky. I, I imagine it can get kind of complicated, but anyhow. One other feature you might notice is that some of these rails have uh, two black beads in the center. That's just for visual, um, visual clarity so that if you have them pushed over like that, uh, you know, you can, you can tell at a glance without having to count one, two, three, four, five that this is in the middle, and if you know both of these are pushed over like that without having to count them, you can figure, okay, there's six over there. I guess after a while, that just aids in visual clarity. But um, that's all they are for, just basically cosmetic. They don't actually mean anything significant. So there you go, a Russian shota. Uh, these were used well into the late Soviet Union. As I understand it, they were used... Uh, until the 70s. And in the 70s, of course, pocket calculators started becoming popular. And uh, then, you know, tiny pocket calculators started replacing these kinds of things. But these were used well into the, uh, into the late Soviet times because I guess the Soviet Union was uh, not necessarily entirely space age in all of its technology. All right, folks, that's all for this video. Just a little. Uh, Nice little historic artifact from the past. Thought it might be interesting to look at. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you folks later. Bye-bye for now.